Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. Kid Curry's kinda crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. <laughs> Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with the warning oh. shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Old Bob wasn't among them, neither was Kid Curry. I could sense him close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children, though some say it was only five. <laughs> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Yes, there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there.
better than that. to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. <gasps> Trade carefully. Otherwise, I could, well, die. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. proceeded onward to realize that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long, burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. Run! The burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, 
Finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. I hope you understand how badly my adventure might have ended had I not been as careful as hell. Precisely, they found me. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Oh! 
what? Beat that bastard! Give me a hand here, goddammit! You're gonna... Eventually, I brought that tunnel down. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. as he was. I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> Those were his last words. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas, and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. forward if I was going to find this gym. stop this train in the first place. Well, the James boys were experts at this. They hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. If 
climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I reached James that. James Younger Gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Train. I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I reached James that. James Younger Gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? the gentleman's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks and... Uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the boat. Oh, you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Uh, well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the side, over the roof. I 
some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, "It's a damn Pinkerton!" It's a damn Pinkerton! Now I never worked for that Lyman cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted to be dead. Everybody's always mistaking it for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. I bet you are. Come up with a creative way to make my way home. I wondered if I was ever going to find the front of that train, or the bastard I was after. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here.
always looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. Determined to die that day. You don't want to mess with us! It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. See Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah, Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to.